So really what the committee wanted me to talk about uh, was challenge some of the challenges uh, that were presented with nutrient management this uh, past year. And so really what I want to do is uh, just go through some of these things. To initially talk about the weather, how did that weather affect nutrients in 2010, what are maybe some of the things we might have considered doing differently or could have, was there anything that we could do differently? And then um, a few questions have been coming up about ortho versus polyphosphate, does it really make a difference? And then um, we'll get into a little bit about uh, soil variability and relating that to uh, variable rate uh, fertilizer. And then finally, yeah, we'll spend a bit of time just uh, during the, the whole talk just talking about how should that these various things affect uh, nutrient management options for 2011. So maybe just by introduction, I think generally it's very safe to say across the Alberta, nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizer uh, are frequently required because these nutrients do tend to be uh, frequently deficient in our soils. For potassium, it's occasionally deficient. Sulfur is occasionally deficient, particularly with canola. And in micronutrients, as a general rule, they're rarely required. And that might disagree with some people's philosophies, but that's certainly mine. So let's talk about weather first, and uh, Norm Flory did an excellent job just talking about weather and putting it in perspective. I'm just going to show you this one slide. This comes from the uh, Environment Canada weather station at the Lethbridge Research Centre. And uh, we can notice right here about uh, April 14th, that was really our first weather or rain event. We had a nice little precipitation from improved soil moisture. Then again near the uh, end of April, around the, the 28th, 29th, we got another shot of rain. And then as we continued on, this is really where we saw most of our seeding take place in, in mid to late uh, May, soils were dry enough, we could actually take, seeding could take place. End of May, so we got another uh, shot of rain. And then as we continued on uh, in uh, mid-June, we got another shot of rain. And so uh, by uh, the middle of June, we actually had almost 300 mils of precipitation at the Lethbridge Research Center. Areas west of Lethbridge had more, areas east had less. But the bottom line is we had a lot of rain by the end of June. And so uh, these sites were very common across uh, southern Alberta. So now, was we, before we actually get into talking about how did that wet weather affect the soils, I just wanted to do a quick review. Maybe you've seen a, a more detailed slide than this, but really when I, I just want to talk about soil organic matter, and there's a certain amount of nitrogen in that organic matter. Microbes in the soil will uh, break that organic matter down. That process is called mineralization. And then we wind up with uh, nitrate.